Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 4Runner Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its parking sensors, its heated and cooled front seats, as well as its power moonroof. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 4Runner Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited model is its daytime running lights. You also have your chrome accenting on your front grille. You have your fog lamps and then taking a look at your front bumper, you're gonna see your plug-in block heater as well as your parking sensors. And then over on the side, you have your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have your running boards and then taking a look at your mirrors here, you have your integrated signal lamps as well as your heated mirrors, vortex generators. And one of the nice things with the limited model is it does have that smart key system. So with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically and if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And if you take a look at the very top, you have your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Attitude Black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your brown leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side. You're going to see your mirror controls with your parking sensors on and off. You have your window wiper de-icer and your on and off switch for your power outlet and your rear cargo space. You have your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows with your seat memory controls for your driver one and two. Once you have your seating position all uh, positioned where you'd like it to have, hit the set button and then hit the driver one. And then when you hit this driver one again, it'll set your seat up to the position you had it at before if somebody moves it. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function back, mode select, volume control, your Bluetooth voice recognition display, and cruise control. Now one of the nice things as well is you have this nice multi-informational display. So with the multi-informational display you have a couple of different options on here, including your cruising range, elapsed time, speed, and a couple of other additional features. And if you take a look at the very bottom of the screen you're going to see your digital compass as well as your exterior temperature gauge. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. If we take a look at the very top, you have your hazard lights, you have your, um, or sorry, your digital clock hazard lights. And then with your touch panel display, you have a couple of different options on here. So you have your navigation, audio, phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Down below, you have your dual zone climate control settings for your driver and passenger along with your front, rear, and mirror defroster. Underneath that, you'll find your USB and auxiliary with your heat and cool seat controls. So all you have to do is just set it at the temperature you'd like to have it at, or if you want to have them off altogether, just put it back into the middle, click it back in, and then you're good to go. Now you have your power outlet with your USB and auxiliary, 4x4 selector, mounted to a 5-speed automatic transmission. You also have your open and close for your power, room, uh, sorry, power rear window. And then taking a look at the very top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror. And a couple of the controls you'll see at the very top include your integrated garage door opener with your traction control on and off, a track downhill assist control, and then your open and closed and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof. Sunglass case holder, and then if you do forget your sunglasses just while you're going on those long trips, you do have the visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of your tailgate, you have your backup camera just located on your left hand side. Rear hatch lease will be located just underneath your forerunner emblem. Now I'm just going to close it in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. One of the nice things with the limited models, it does offer you the tonneau cover in the back. So if you wanted to make sure your valuables are actually covered up, the tonneau cover is going to be able to do that for you. Now on your right hand side you're going to find your power outlet as well as your additional power outlet just in case you're out at the lake or the cabin during the weekend you want to plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. Now you have a couple of tie down areas just located on your left, right, front and back side just so you can secure any loose cargo. Now if you do need the additional space you can actually fold down that 60-40 split rear seat just in case you're moving a couple of things or going out camping for the weekend. Now the other cool thing is you can actually open up this uh, power rear window from the outside. So as long as you have your key fob on you, all you have to do is just hold down on the down button, hold it there, and it will roll the window down for you. Now if you let go part way, it'll actually stop where it's at. Now the nice thing with this is that if you just need to throw a couple of things in the back here, you can do so. Now the other cool thing is, once you actually close up the power rear window this way, if you do forget to actually lock the doors, don't worry, because when you close it up this way, it actually locks the doors automatically for you as well. 
Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.